Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers, welcome to this uh, daily cricket happening show. Uh, well, uh, I have to say dear fans, subscribers, it's going to be a very, very brief cricket show. There's not, not much of cricket to really talk about, but uh, definitely I will try to see uh, howsoever I can extend this cricket show. Well, uh, the news which is coming in from South Africa, so basically it's going to be cricket news, nothing else. And as I said, there's not much cricket news today. Uh, Dumini, Paul, uh, John Paul Dumini, uh, the South African cricketer who has been struggling for form, dear form, for, for quite a long time, uh, was initially dropped from the, uh, the test match where South Africa won the match. And now uh, he has been released throughout of the, through, from the South African squad for the whole series. So um, Dumini would be returning home. Um, and so that is, but we all know that Dumini was a good player once upon a time. But I thought his early promise that he did when he actually made uh, his entry in a very, very grand manner uh, has unfortunately, uh, it has been a sort of a, a not a very good, uh, a big, uh, not, not a very good uh, ending for Dumini, I think. I think Dumini would have probably played the last of his test matches here uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in England, I reckon, and because now I, I don't see Dumini coming back with a lot of competition. Dumini is also, uh, I think, age is also probably catching up with him. But uh, Jean Paul Dumini, uh, since there's not much cricket to talk about, I thought it is the right time for me to just talk about Dumini. Well, as I said, Jean Paul Dumini really came back, uh, came in a very grand manner, uh, and uh, he started uh, making headlines pretty quickly for South Africa, but. Um, uh, the problem was that uh, if you if you look at his career graph, uh, well, uh, he started to peter out uh, towards uh, the later stage and the middle stages, and then uh, he really uh, was a, a sort of one who lost all his uh, he lost his mojo, I would say, and then uh, he was struggling everywhere, whether it is one day T20, and uh, but I thought South Africa definitely. Uh, kept him for quite a long time, gave him a long reign, and I think uh, it's time for Dumini probably to say goodbye to Test matches now, because I don't foresee Dumini really making a big comeback. Well, if that if he could make that, that would be something great for South African cricket. So I think he has probably played the last of his Test matches of his career now, uh, because I think with a lot of youngsters uh, breathing in the South African mix. I think it's going to be very difficult for Dumini to forge his way back into the Test match arena. Uh, probably he might still be considered for the T20 and ODIs, but uh, Test match is something which I think Dumini would probably have missed. Uh, uh, probably is going to really, really be a big struggle for him to get back into the Test matches. But yes, he was a good player, no doubt about it. But unfortunately, as I said, uh, that early promise that he showed, uh, he could not live up to that promise of. The, the problem with Dumini was it's all about consistency. And consistency is a very, very important ingredient in international cricket. If uh, you can score 50 100, but if you're not consistent enough, then uh, you know it's very difficult to survive uh, in this uh, very, very competitive cricketing world. Um, other than that, I can say uh, that uh, uh, there's a, just talking about the first test match, which is coming up between Sri Lanka and India. Uh, Hashan, you would, one would remember uh, uh, Tilkaratne. Now, I'm not talking about Tilkaratne, Dilshan. I'm talking about Hashan Tilkaratne. Now, Hashan Tilkaratne, once upon, was a very good middle-order bat for Sri Lanka in the days of uh, the former great players like Duit Mendes, Roy Dyes, Arjuna Ranatunga, uh, Ranjan Madhugale. That was the time Tilkaratne. <coughs> but Tilkaratne was a good binding force there. And uh, he has been appointed temporarily as a Sri Lankan batting coach. And for India also, the troubles uh, seem to be not leaving them. As uh, KL Rahul is out of the first test with a viral fever. We saw that uh, the captain Dinesh Chandimal was out for Sri Lanka. And for India, it's KL Rahul out of the goal test with a viral fever. So probably Shikhar Dhawan and Murli Vijay uh, will open the innings uh, for, the, for the test matches. Uh, well, as I said, today there's not much of cricket to really cover. Uh, I think it should be, I would be probably curtains now because uh, I'm just trying to see whether there is something that I could really talk about. I really feel that uh, it's almost the end of the cricket show. So very, very short cricket show. But as you know, it's a daily cricket show. 
and I make it a point to come on to this cricket show uh, even if it is for five minutes I definitely feel I get the pleasure of uh, talking to you all uh, through the medium of this uh, wonderful cricket show uh, that I host every day well the, uh, dear fans subscribers it's, it's a very short cricket show of just probably six odd minutes uh, and uh, I'll be seeing you all tomorrow uh, on my next cricket show till such time it's good night